Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we found a level 1 keycard, and, uh. I cleared out this room full of abominations. Hang on, there are three doors here. Where did I come in? I think it was this one. Yeah, that looks about right. That's the key door I need to use that key. So where does the other door go? The one that wasn't lit up. It tacked it uh you know, it sort of taxed my resources. But I don't have to feel guilty about leaving these things to suffer any longer. Oh this had to be how I got in here. Okay, sure. No, no, that's right, I did- I just explored that other area, and it was a dead end at the time. That's why it felt like I'd been there. It's funny, because Thorn, there was a room there. I'm gonna burn the next thing I see. Uh... Equip. Doesn't feel right to run around with an, uh... Unfull clip. All right. Let's say hello. I wonder how you activate that door. Wait. Ha! Huh! There's actually a hint of the old school doom door closing sound in there. The I can't even recreate it, because I can't make a noise that high-pitched. There's this really quick whine in there. <laughs> Partying like it's 1991 here. Which, reminder, was uh, 20 years ago, not 30 years ago. <laughs> in the uh, timeline of this game. Researcher's memo. The, sec the security for the cultivation plant has been set to level 2, owing to the chief's death in an accident while conducting experiments. I heard that new security cards will be given out from the chief's room. I only, over I only overheard this, so I guess I'm not getting one. Maybe that's for the best. These cultivation experiments of the Ouroboros virus seem pretty dangerous. Well, they pronounce it Ouroboros, but, you know... That word does not begin with you. You cannot deceive me. Or with oh, god damn it, I said it wrong. That's just confusing. What am I doing? Look at this place and I'm not even looking around for shinies. Shinies are bugs. Yes, let's just pronounce every word of the U in it wrong. Come on! Head... Oh my god, that's disgusting. I mean, it did, but watching its flesh... Ugh. Just fall off piece by piece. Ugh. You know what? Let's be generous and say that's just a really dirty sink, and that's just water floating in it. There, now I can sleep at night. Oh boy, I just accidentally pulled the, uh... I paused the recording to do a thing, and as I was doing the thing, I accidentally pulled the cable out of my headphone. So, uh, here's hoping we're not getting any... screwy noises, because I can't alt-tab to check! Emblem key!
Emblem key opens the emblem door in the mansion area of the research facility. I might hand that to Natalia, except that I don't want to encourage her to have positive feelings about this place. Beep. So which one of them is a zombie in it? Yeah, that one. Okay, just cutting to the chase. Can you open these? You know, for just a second there, I thought it was one of the regenerators from Resident Evil 4. It was the, uh, the noselessness. And from that angle, it looks like it's not just missing its nose, it looks like it never had one. Okay, just making sure it's not, you know... That's a strange thing to preserve, but whatever. Nah, I'll just burn him. It'll be fine. Ah, great! My lucky day! I'm stuck in a corner! How dare you! You fuck! Alright, that sucked. You know, with the flashlight, I didn't even realize how dark it was in here. Well, we found the key. I guess that guy wasn't uh, in the, you know, euphemism morgue. That's where I came in. Well, I guess I have the emblem key now, so... Well, there's a bunch of doors upstairs. Or there's that one past the lab. You know, that guy I was just talking about. The one who was at the bottom of the staircase. Uh, that was... I'll go there first, since I know how to get there. And since it's kind of out of the way, so it might be a secret or something. Oh! I don't see any red. You know, last time the, uh... There was a glass in here. That was immediately before I found one of those, uh, larvae. So I thought, hey, maybe it left another one. Where am I going? Uh... Is this the way to the lab? Oh, Christ. Really? Why is it doing that? Okay. Weird. I can't mantle over that. Uh, the 
dead guy. I can't go in there, but I can go at the top of these stairs, I think. Yeah, there's the dead guy. I wonder if this is just another entrance to that same area that I mentioned from earlier. Or if this is going to lead to, uh, looks like a room full of stuff. You know, here's a bunch of... Oh, no, no, there is a door on the other side of this room. I can see that in the map. Well, probably... You know, still saves me time, uh, backtracking. I don't even remember how to get to where this was. You know, from back there, I mean. I don't like this place. It makes me feel extremely uneasy, for reasons I'm not even clear on, given that there's nothing here. I mean, I've been through here already. Surely we should have cleared it out. I've definitely been in here. I hear a clock going. Oh, I found out a tidbit. Yeah, I'm reminded. I was just thinking to myself, uh, the loading screen tip I got today was, uh, you know, the quotes from Franz Kafka. It said, Not everyone can see the truth, but anyone can be the truth. And that sounds important, but I have absolutely no goddamn idea what that means. Yeah, that's right. There was, uh, one of those things on the ground next to it, and I treated it like that was the guy who wrote the journal. Well, okay. Well, it's drawing my attention to it for some reason. Seriously, is it like a Wesker thing? Is it a, an evil genius thing? I can't get over there. It's not currently 1 o'clock a.m. or p.m., for the record. Oh, hey. That would have been embarrassing to miss. Research Facility Chief's Journal... Uh, Research Facility Chief's Journal 2. Today's steward came through and delivered the sample we've been waiting for, the Ouroboros virus. We finished work on T. Phobos, so we'll be working on Ouroboros from now on. The underground level of the facility is being converted specifically for this purpose. I'm so thrilled to keep we continue working under Alex's brilliance. So if Ouroboros isn't part of uh, T. Phobos, why are they working with more than one deadly virus? Damn it! That one is really close. Oh, right, you only need to do it, uh. All right, uh. I'm really glad that Barry just immediately gets out of the way there. What? Oh, duh! Oh, the hell with it. I'm gonna backtrack to the table. Jump cut! Here we are, and that wasn't too bad, because that door leads to the room with the dead guy and the stairs. Burst plus one. Boo! Well, back I go. Alright, here we are. Back in this room. I stand corrected. Now it isn't actually 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. or whatever. What time is it? 6.39. Security card level 2. 
Emblem key opens the emblem doors in the mansion area of the research facility. Just, you know, saying. Security card level 2. Level 2 security card key that the researchers in this facility use. And I suddenly lost the level 1 key. Not that it's weird. Ooh, thanks. Oh, okay. Fuck me, it's dark in here. Brace yourself. Well, okay then. Okay! Nice timing. I'm not even mad. Hey, you leave that kid alone! No, seriously, that was excellent timing. I had just said all right then. And had been going to explain that... Horror games like to drop new... Well, I, was, I don't think I would have said drop, but, you know, horror games like to put in new enemies in places you've already been when you get something important like a, say, a key. Man, where the fuck am I even going? Uh... Um... Foot! Okay. That I do not got a hand to you. Oh shit! I thought that first one there killed him. That's why I stopped aiming. Okay, that's not ideal. I got so panicked there I turned my light off. He was just standing there. I didn't detect him through the walls or anything. And those things are really bright with a weak point. Exactly what I was hoping for. You can just hold on to these, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Make some smoke since I've got all this stuff and fucking stuff lying around. I do like the stealth attacks on the, uh, the revenants. They're very difficult to pull off, but I do like them. Because, so, you know, he stabs them twice. You know, with the weak points and everything. Oh, hey. I knew there were more doors. The, uh, the fix... So that animation that plays, you know, open a door, you know, instead of just having the character reach out and open the door like they did in RE4 and 5. You know, I already figured out that was because uh, they have to move your partner character right next to you for the animation. You know, to make sure you don't leave anyone behind. But, uh... I just wanted to mention that in this environment, it really reminds me of the old animation style. They used to hide the loading in Resident Evil games, like on the PS1 by, uh... Well, they would, just, like, fade to black, and then show a first-person animation of walking through the... you know, opening the door and walking through it. Or, you know, just walking slowly down a staircase. And they use these animations, uh, basically to hide the loading times. Well, I'm definitely going to get you that. I knew I saw something over here. Odd thing to keep in a house, but whatever. Oh boy. Actually, with all these guys that I'm hearing, let's just hang out in here for a bit, because I need to call it an episode. 
I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. When we take this level 2 keycard and find out what's on the other side of that level 2 door we found that one time. Later!